make it work in the video. Yes, in the video transformation video. stickers because there are a lot of stickers in this room but i love it you guys i am so excited to be showing you my kids playroom because i have worked really hard for this i really wanted them to have a space where they can play and scatter and do all their nonsense in so when they are done with everything they just pack everything up back and they leave this place is actually supposed to be the dining yes this is to be the dining of the house we used to have like you know a dining table here our fridge was here like it was a dining space but to be honest we don't really use a dining table like we eat in different places in this house we don't really eat on the dining table at least not together and i was like what's the point you know taking up this space when my kids can actually play here and the good thing about it is that we can all play together because there are some elements here that are actually adult friendly if i may put it that way but there are some things here that are actually adult friendly so as you know as their parents we can comfortably stay here and play with them i feel like it has more value to us as a family you know for, for togetherness it has more value to us than a dining space okay um, yeah so let me talk about the flooring so the flooring here is actually what they call this i think they call this linoleum linoleum carpet or something like that those carpets that we used to have growing up that we are you know plastic like and yeah this is a more durable more expensive more updated version it has the wooden floor design i also like the fact that it looks like dark wood but it's just carpet made of plastic but to make it not so flat i padded it so under it i have foam there i did it myself i just bought some sheets of foam those flat foams and i laid it here um gummed them together and then covered it with this plastic so initially i was supposed to glue this plastic to the side so that it will not move but on the second thought i was like this is not my house let me not destroy these floors with gum or glue that was why i decided to just leave it like this so it's not glued to the floor so it's not perfect right there's some places where you can see a little bit of fold a little bit of shifting you can actually just you know move it back to where it's supposed to be and it will stay for a while to despoil it but for the most part i'm actually happy with it i'm comfortable with it the way it is it looks neat it looks fine it looks flat enough and the best part for me is that it is padded i was even advised to use a rug instead like a proper rug but i have i don't know i have this bad experience with rug with rugs growing up they retain smell they get stained easily you have to keep cleaning and cleaning and personally when i have when i'm in a space that is covered wall to wall with rugs it tends to affect my breathing right i don't know if i'm the one that, that, that experiences that but i tend to get cut more i tend to sneeze more and i always smell the rug like anywhere i go to there's rug wall to wall i feel like i can smell the rug so that was why i didn't do rug and i'm happy with it okay i love it i like when i dream of things and everybody wants to discourage me and stick it to it and it works out for me in the end it's a project to discourage me yeah, right. Is our toy storage we use it to pack all our toys and when we are done playing with the toys we pack them back into these containers and we put soft toys and dolls here here is our hopscotch let me show you how to use it okay. and here are our confessions this is a yes I am confession and we read it every day in the morning and in the night before we sleep and when we wake up before we go to school or when maybe we want to go somewhere or we want to go to church we read our confessions first. Confessions and the playroom rules, I designed them myself 
um, I wanted to buy on Etsy, but I didn't really see what I wanted because I really wanted to have confessions on the walls for my kids okay because i just like the fact that they can read it to themselves they can confess it in the morning or whenever they see it and somehow i feel like it's going to stick into their head okay even if they don't confess it even if they don't read it out i feel like the fact that this thing is present inside here somehow subconscious i'm doing subconscious programming you know how the devil subconsciously tries to program our children by Choking all their agenda in children cartoons and stuff like that. Me, I'm here to choke my own agenda, okay, by placing it on the walls very boldly, very bright and, you know, bold enough for them to read and assimilate consciously or unconsciously, okay. So, yeah, this one says, yes, I am. I came up with the words, my, not the words, I came up with the lines myself. It says, I am beautiful and elegant. I am brave and confident. I am disciplined and focused. I am healthy and strong. I am intelligent and smart. I am creative and talented. I am generous and kind. I am blessed and prosperous. Yes, so I designed this to look like, you know, rainbow. And I did that on purpose, right? We need to repurpose the rainbows, okay? We need to repurpose the rain, not repurpose, we need to take back the rainbow because the rainbow was originally given to us by God as a promise. So we need to take that rainbow back and make it, take it back to what it used to be. So that was why I made this in rainbow colors. It's significant to me, okay? On the other side, I have more confessions. That one says, I can do all things through Christ. I have a sound mind. I walk in love. I am the light of the world. I have the life of God in me. All things work for my good and I am the child of the Most High God. Those are scriptures or those are taken from scriptures, right? So I didn't want to put like actual scriptures there because it would be too long. For instance, it's supposed to be, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, but that would have been very long, okay? So I just had to, you know, derive some of these lines from scriptures so they confess it to themselves. Here are playroom rules. I'm going to read only two for you, the up one or the down one. Say please and thank you. Clean up before you leave. And here is our comfy couch. <laughs> it's so comfy. It's so comfy. And yeah, the third sticker here is the playroom rules. It says, say please and thank you, laugh out loud, share with everyone, use your imagination, play fair and take turns, tell the truth always, clean up before you leave. So this one, I actually got this design from Etsy, but I just redesigned it myself. Like I changed the colors, I changed some of the words, I changed some of the rules and placement and stuff like that. But the general concept of this particular playroom rules, I got it from etsy i'm going to leave the name of where i got most of this stuff in the description box okay um this ballerina i love it i love ballerinas i don't know why i love ballerinas my kids love ballet as well every one of them including sophia they all love ballet so i put this you know ballet princess here not ballet princess i put this ballerina here fun fact i even have more ballerina stickers but I was just like you know what just respect yourself it's okay it's enough <laughs> It's enough with the stickers. I didn't really go with a color scheme in here. I tried to go with a color scheme initially, but I had to tell myself, am I doing this for me or am I doing it for my kids? And for my kids, I felt like since it is a play area, it is a place for imagination and creativity. Let me not limit them to, you know, particular adult colors because initially I wanted to go with white, nude, like brown and, you know, touch of pink. But like, Right now, here is rainbow. All the colors are accepted. <laughs> Every color is in here. And I love it, okay? For these animal stickers here, I'm not really sure where I got them from. But I think I got them from AliExpress. I'll check. I'll check my cart and see if I got them from AliExpress. It's either I got them from AliExpress or one of these days when I was just in a, a children's shop, I saw it and I took it. Because I've had it for a very long time. I think it's two years at this point. So I've had it for a very long time. I've been waiting for when I'm going to have a playroom for my kids. So I feel like I got it from AliExpress, but I am not too sure, okay? So over there, we have the height chart. To be honest, I was thinking the height chart, since it's a three, was going to start from the ground up. But I realized that, you know, it's not that way. It didn't even start from one. Like, the measurement did not start from one centimeter. It started from 27 inches, so I had to measure 27 inches from the ground to where you know the stick the tree will start from that's 27 inches on the tree that's why it looks like it's hanging in the air it's not because i didn't put it well it's because that's the design like it literally starts from mid-air <laughs> this is a height chart tree 
we use it to measure our height and you can see the names of this there's Kobe, there's Cora, there's Ava, there's Kaito, there's Odano, there's Sophia and that's all the names well yeah under it and around you know the perimeter of the room I have stickers there they're like city colorful secrecy like a colorful city sticker like it just screams play you know fun excitement that is why i bought it and i love it okay then this bean bag here i actually got it from someone in lagos but when it came you guys i was confused because of how strong the thing was normally i know bean bag to have those very tiny balls like I don't know if that thing is fiber or something. What they call bean, like the bean, you know? That's what I know bean bags to have. So I was expecting it to have at least something similar, if not those particular balls, because those balls are very, very soft and very, very, they almost like, they're almost like memory foam or something like that. So yeah, those ones are different and I know that they're quite expensive. So I was expecting at least let them use fiber to make this one. And it came and it was very strong. It was foams that were inside. So I had to take off some of the, in fact, more than half of the foams that were inside. I had to remove them. Then I bought some fiber. I bought like 10 kg of fiber and I put inside. Okay. So right now it's soft enough. It's not as soft as I would have wanted, but it's soft enough. We enjoy it. My kids stay here. And me personally, I'm the one that even stays on it more. When they are playing and I want to just watch them, I stay on it. I didn't want to put any chairs here. Coupled with the fact that, you know, this is not proper flooring. I didn't want to put any chairs here because why should I have chairs in here, you know, taking up space when we can have more space to play. And now to my favorite part of this playroom. I love, I love, love, love this storage um, reading area, okay? Now, I designed this storage area, kind not myself, okay? I got the design of pinterest right so i got this design from pinterest but to make it work for this space i have to add that extra storage there because this window is not in the middle it's to the side i now have to add that extra storage there and i love that extra storage so much because that is where i put the i put the kids bag so their school bags their church bags their fancy bags and purses and all of that they are all inside there i'm still supposed to put a railing at the top part of this um part of the storage i'm supposed to put a railing there because i was planning to hang their costumes there almost every year not, in fact, not almost every year they do costume party in school so they have different kinds of costumes and each time we come back from you know the event we just pack the costumes and can keep them inside their rooms and they never use it again sometimes i don't even remember where it is or i just give it out eventually so i just told myself that i'm going to put um like railing there what they call it for hanging clothes i'm going to put it there so that every time i buy new costumes or you know they have costume party or whatever i will take those costumes and hang it here so that anytime they feel like playing with those costumes they can wear it and play with it you want to play doctor you want to play nurse you want to play ba ballerina you want to play firefighter you want to play army whatever play you want to play and you want to dress and look the part then just take your costume there and do it okay i divided this into two somehow so this is cora's part this is ava's part don't ask me about sophia's part okay <laughs> Sophia's part is this part. Don't ask me about Sophia's part, but basically Sophia, Sophia's things are in here as well. So this is Cora's part. Those are just my boxes of, um, I think I got those boxes from gifts people gave me. So I kept those boxes there because I love the colors and they kind of match. So I put them there. I have some of their things inside there. But anything that is in a box like that, they know not to go there. Like they know you can't even try yourself and go there. It's for mommy. It's out of bounds. Okay, so inside there I have some you know play things like their stickers their colors their books their some books okay um brushes and stuff like that i have them in there things that are important that i don't want them to spoil i have them in there so whenever they need it i bring them out give them and when they're done they give me back i put it back there okay here's my own part of the main storage this is my lesson book and this is a toy for sophia and these are also our buckets that we use to paint and these are all my storybooks. This is a painting that Eva did for me. Inside here, there are some random items that we use. Like here we have our painting stuff. So here we have some more toys and random stuff that we use. And inside these boxes, we have our stationery, but our mom doesn't allow us to take things from here. Only her can take things from here. 
I have this signage that says Eva, Cora, and Sophia. I have this globe. I bought this globe for them at Ebano in Lagos. So it is Cora, Eva, and Sophia to the world, okay? And then this next part is Eva's books, but some of Sophia's books are in there. No, but they're mostly Eva's books. Why Sophia does not really have books there is that she cannot read. So most times she just plays with the book. She pretends to read though, but we know she cannot read. So the books are there in Eva's side. So Eva takes them and reads them to Sophia. Cora also reads to Sophia as well. Then this corner, I love this thing. You guys, after making this, because you know, this whole thing was basically DIY. Um, I had to make this um, sitting area. So I went to the market, I got foam. I also got material. I sewed a, I got the material for, I got this material, this check material. I have check and I also have pink. Then I also got plain material. So I covered the foam in plain material and then I made this cover you know, so, so we can either switch covers or you know wash and put back but whenever we remove the covers the foam itself is covered okay so here's how i read i take a book from here i sit down and i start reading comfortably under here is just random things okay this place random things this actually that one is a small storage that one's a small storage but here it's actually open it's just one big storage like it's just open so i can put toys in there like bigger toys in there that part is for, made for bigger toys bigger things you know longer things bulkier items we just put them in there okay initially i thought this storage to be like from ceiling to floor but um, I didn't want to block, even though my husband said he could shift the camera, but I like the position where it is. I, I can see the playroom very clearly. So that is why, you know, I didn't make it to get to the ceiling. But yeah, so I can watch my kids play here while I am upstairs or while I'm working in my office because my office is just down here. And another thing is that before, when I'm in my office working, my kids will be upstairs playing and screaming and shouting and I won't know what's going on. But now that they are always here, if I'm working and I hear any pararam, I hear any shout, I hear any noise that sounds off, I just come here quickly and check on them. And we are good, okay? So yeah, this system works well for me. I'm really, really excited about this whole thing. I love this place. You guys should rate my playroom design. <laughs> 10 over 10 <laughs> but yeah raise my playroom design and let me know if there's anything here that you really really like that you know resonates with you more something that you definitely buy or you definitely incorporate in your kids room or their playroom let me know in the comment section and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys i hope you enjoyed the tour of our playroom i hope you like it thanks for watching bye, bye. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs>